Welcome back to part five in the flashlight series. Let's get started. I'm going to start out by creating a new component. We're going to create a sketch and we're going to be adding dimensions. Make sure right view selected. Create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's create the profile as follows. Turn it off center line. Continue to profile. Time to add dimensions using the D key. I'm going to position this so you can see all the dimensions and we'll move on to the next step. Now that that's completed, select the revolve tool. It'll automatically revolve. Select the top view, create a sketch on this visible face. I'm going to select the offset tool, select this edge here. We want to add dimensions. Select extrude command or select the E key. Select the face we just created for the plot profile. Select the bottom. We'll cut right through. Rotate to bottom view. Create a sketch on its inside face here. Select the offset tool, select this edge here. Add dimensions. Select the E key. Select this face inside. Add dimensions. Create a sketch on this face internally. Select the line command and we'll make it a construction line. Starting in the center point, dragging it up to the edge. Select the offset command. Select this inside edge here. Add dimensions. Be sure to make this a solid line. Turning off construction. Once again, select the line command. Select this inside edge here and this edge here. And again, make sure that construction is turned off. Select the D key because we want to measure this from here to the center point. Five millimeters. Select the mirror command. Select the line we just created. The mirror line is going to be the center point. And you have your mirrored object. Next, select the extrude command. Select this inside profile we just created. Tap the outer edge. And it's set. Select the chamfer tool. Select these two edges here, add dimensions. 
we want 23 of these objects on the inside. So we'll select a circular pattern command. Object type should be set to features. We'll select the chamfer and the extrusion. The axis, we can select this inside wall and make it 23. Rotate to the top. I'm gonna to add some threads. Select this inside, make sure it's modeled. Designation is gonna be M30 by one. Size is gonna be 30 millimeters. Directions right hand. Once again, we're gonna rotate because we're gonna be selecting this outer edge because we're gonna be narrowing this face here. Create a sketch on the south side face. Using the line tool, we're gonna to make a triangle like so. Let's constrain this point here. We're gonna also make this edge and this edge equal to each other. We're gonna add dimensions. I'm gonna make this edge and this point 20.1 millimeters from each other. That locks that into place. And now I'm gonna add dimensions here and here to be 0.2. Make the width of this back line to be 1.5 and it's fully constrained. What I wanna do is go back inside the sketch and this outer edge, I wanna make that a construction line. It'll keep me from having to select two objects and I can just select this entire profile in one step. Next step, we're gonna be selecting and creating a coil. Try to reselect it again. Select this face. Select this inside. Make it 40 millimeters. The type is gonna be selected as height and pitch. The diameter is gonna be 40, we already set that. The height's gonna be negative 11. Pitch is going to be negative 110. Section is going to be triangular internal. Section position is going to be outside. Section size is going to be one. Select the sweep command. We're going to select path and guide surface. So the profile is going to be the sketch we just used before. Path is going to be this inside edge here. Guide surface is going to be this edge here, or this space, shall I say. Objects to cut, we only want body one. And under bodies, we can hide the second body, which is actually the coil we created. Select the mirror command. Object type should be set to features. Select the sweep we just uh, created. Mirror plane, it's gonna be this inside plane here. Compute type should be set to optimize. Wanna make 44 of these. Object type should be set to features. Select the mirror and a sweep. Axis is gonna be this outside edge here or face, shall I say. Quantity is going to be 44. Compute type should be set to optimize. Finally, let's fill it this edge here and this edge here to be 0.2. As an extra step, you can also fill it this edge and this edge. So I'll select, actually we'll use the faces because the edges are harder to select. Let's see if we can grab the faces. Grab this face here and that face there. Set it to point 0.1. It may take a bit to calculate.
and it's complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.